What is up, MFers? We made it a little bit down the road, as you guys saw in the video yesterday where we, we whacked some up shallow in some thick, nasty lily pad situation, grass, stuff like that. We're at a different lake now, as you can see, you probably can't see, but it's it's much larger and there is zero vegetation. We're here for a totally different reason, and that is because there's a big old bunch of slaunched pusses out there on these deep rock piles, deep brush piles, shallow brush piles, who freaking knows where the fish are gonna be, but I'm out here with my main man, Josh, who uh, is over there, you know, you know porn stash, he's over there talking to his camera and stuff. Go check out his channel if you guys haven't had a chance to do that. But yeah, we're about to get the boat launched up here and get out on the water and hopefully teach you guys a thing or two explain to you why i'm fishing some of the stuff offshore to give you guys some tips of, of what you can do to fish out off the shore and that the same things can be applied bank fishing as well but fishing stuff where you're kind of dragging it and stuff like that so let's let's get out on the water hopefully catch some slaunches that's just, i've heard the bite has been freaking amazing at this lake there was a tournament here last weekend and i think every team caught a limit actually it was individual every guy caught a limit and like every guy also had over 15 pounds. So, what do you think, Porn Stash? Think we're gonna make it happen today? My first goal is to back the boat in without hitting something. That's where we're at with things right now, guys. <laughs> Anyways, we will catch you on the water, hopefully without a giant dent in the back of the boat. Let's go. All right, Josh is going with circle hook and a Senko. I'm going with, oh, Mr. 10 inch worm. We're starting offshore, we're on a point. We're gonna set up on this side of it because the wind is blowing in our face so we can sit here and throw up here and there's a bunch of rock pile there's brush mixed into it and we've caught slaunches here in the past usually i scan a spot like this after i look and see what's what's on it on the uh the nice map that the iowa dnrs has created for us but don't even need to do that because i've been here so much last time i was here i was with the zark in a little tournament and now we're gonna whack biggins that a babe got him First spot, we're getting dusted every cast, as Josh would say. Stash, hooked up! Oh yeah, that's the size, dude. Oh, there well, are, a, the there's you. a million of those. Three, right at three. I yep. might actually catch something. You, I'd say that you, you might catch one, yes. <laughs> that would be a fish. Just freaking stopped it. Get in here. That's a pretty solid one. Oh, yeah. Got the old C10 crossways in his face. Whew. Nope, none of that, please. You don't hold those fish right. You're gonna kill them if you hold them like that. Break their, jaw. their jaws are all broken because of you. Look at that fat wand. Boom, three pounder on the old six cents. C10 through the worm and they were pecking it. Josh had a couple real good bites, including the one he caught swimming a jig down on the bottom. So I figured why not pick up the old cranking bait on the rock pile and pa -pow. Look at that, what do you know? They want to react to something right now. Makes sense, we got overcast, got a little bit of wind today. I like it, first spot. Get rid of it. Got one on my end of my cricket. It's an angry one. A big old head. Come here, Cletus. That's an ugly guy. Uh, put on the old cre creature. Look at you. All right, that's a uh, skinny, nasty one. Not what we're looking for, but move to the other side of the rock pile and pop pile. How did it break off? That would be what you heard. This would be a good time to remind you guys that are watching this video that you should always make sure to check your knots. That's why I use the flick shake. Switch up so you can catch the big ones, Josh. Fish unsnagged. Porn stash. Neither. Neither Juan. I'd say it was mostly because of the porn stash is why that happened. He did, he did want to see it. The deep diver, about to lose it. Or catch fish, either one. Drop the poles. Hey, we're back on a good spot, Josh. Could you put the poles down? Josh, poles, put them down. Another one on the sea ton. That rhymed, not a, not a fat one, but hey, came off to another I mean, I say offshore rock pile, the shore is right there, but super secret spot, it's tough to find because, you know, 
people on the bank can fish it, people on the jetty can fish it. On the C10, just getting it down there, it's only like a five or six foot deep rock pile, but this guy just grinds into it. And when this thing deflects off stuff, I constantly tell you guys, crankbait fishing, the absolute key is to run your crankbait into stuff. That's exactly what's going on right here. Get offshore and bang that bait into things. Magic! Not up there. That's a good one. The old sideways swimmer, sideways Sally. Good. That's a solid one. Is that on your swim bait again? Dang, son. Are you just on that? Yeah. Are you dragging it or swimming it? Yeah. I think they call that a slow roll. Giving her the slow roll. Hmm? He was out in the jank where he should have been. And you really. He's got the old sideways swimmer. You guys probably never seen that. Well, oh, yeah. it's, it's a big secret, that's Doug. the old Doug Stangy rig. Mangy Stangy throws Doug that one. Me and told me about it. Did he tell you about that one? Didn't get that memo. Are you kidding me, dude? On the sideways swimmer, whooping me out here. Dude, call Doug. I'm not even call kidding. Doug. Oh, Doug Stangy. Mangy Doug Stangy. God. Are you like hitting the bottom or just reeling it? Dragging it. Oh, just dragging it. Well, guys, we are, uh, we're most of the way through the day and it's been good. We, you kind of figure out what happens is right when you get to the brush piles or the rock piles, the first time you go through there, you're probably going to get bit and you're going to catch them. And then we usually catch like two or three more and then that's it. Uh, having some engine problems back there. It's trimmed all the way up because the tilt trim got stuck up and then uh, it was just running. There's no way to flip it down to make it go down at all. So now we are uh, basically trolling motor only and no way to put that guy down for the day. So that's pretty fun, but we're going to kind of work around a little bit more. I've been catching him on a jig, but look at this stupid rig that Josh has been catching him on. He learned from Doug Stangy from In Fisherman, but it's a swim bait, hollow belly swim bait, but it's rigged freaking sideways. And what we found is, and he's caught some good fish doing it is it just kind of glides up over those rocks. So it's not getting bogged down. You're not getting snagged every freaking cast like we are when we're throwing our jigs in there. And it's been doing the trick, but I guess whatever works, he's been whooping my butt on it, but we're gonna hit two or three more piles. Um, I don't know, see if some brush piles might be a better deal. And then we're gonna get out of here, but so far this has been a, a good, good day and we're catching some good quality fish. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know if it's a bass, dude. It's big though. Just a bass fish. Come here, bud. That's one of the right ones. Yeah. All right, we just made a move down to another rock pile and first cast, plow, plow. That guy was out of his mind. Damn, that's a fatty. That's the right one. Four plus pounder. Work. Yep, that will definitely work. Definitely a better quality. That will work. Drop the poles, guys. We are on them. They're three and three quarter. That a bad. It's a big one. Big one. Big one. Mm. Yeah, you did. Nice one, man. I don't One of them fish piles. Yeah, man. Better than almost anywhere. Another yig fish. That time was with the uh, hybrid six cents hybrid jig because I've I don't know been snagging and breaking off a million of my own jigs. Just gonna kind of keep rotating through. Uh, he dropped. Are you serious? He's just going sideways with it. Got another head. Large-headed, jaw-broken bass. Get him back in the water. Another yig fish, three plus. Stole my claw. It's a big, big one. That a babe. That's one of the ones you want. That's a five plus. Yeah. Five makes, and a half. Makes up for the motor. Makes up for the motor a little bit. Kind of. We got motor issues, <laughs> folks. 
We got slaunches. I was just about to say, we should catch a big one on the end of this. The wind's blowing on it, there's brush in it. That, yeah, he was in the tree. In the tree. Damn. Good one, man. Big one. Big one. He was in one too. Yeah. Not a bad one. Sweet, fatty jig has been laid ill. Minus the old Doug rig. Yeah, I saw that. As I was getting ready to pull it out of the water. Yep. I'd say this is the spot. That's another four and a half. That's another big one. God, dude. Hey, if we were in a tournament right now here, we'd be doing pretty we'd well. We'd probably be, well, it's tough to say, man, because yeah. we'd probably have 18, 19 pounds. Maybe a hair more. We might have 20. Top five but we also would be struggling to get on these spots. Oh yeah, that's true. Good man. That's a chunk. They're healthier chunk. than the first couple. That's a four that and a half for sure, yeah. I think belly is good. It's a different fish, different yeah. caliber of fish for sure. Definitely hanging out on the rocks or the brush. Yeah, good. Cool. Who are those? Oh, that was a big fish, dude. He freaking, I went to pull my snag out and he grabbed it off of it. Again, in the brush pile. They are loaded in those two piles, man. Okay guys, little bit of a change of scenery. I am in Los Angeles. I, I, you guys are gonna have to watch the next video to see why I'm actually in Los Angeles right now, doing a little bit of traveling, a little bit of a, uh, a once in a lifetime type trip out of the country. My, obviously had to get a beer here. My, my 1095 Grapefruit Sculpin from Ballast Point Brewing. This one is really, really good. I'm a huge fan of this. I don't know about it for $11, but it's an airport, and you gotta drink when you're at the airport, especially when you get an overnight fly like I do tonight. Anyways, had a really good time fishing with old Josh. Obviously caught a whole bunch of fish offshore. Learned a new sneaky technique with that swim bait rig sideways. I'll have to elaborate a little bit more and show you guys how that works. A little bit more moving forward. Hopefully that's another tool I can add in my arsenal, which is why I love fishing with new people. Uh, uh, and learning new things like that. That's something that I've seen before, but I've never seen put into effect very effectively. So, super cool. I caught my fish on the Six Cent C10 and also on the Divine Hybrid Jig on those offshore rock piles. So I'll link those down below for you guys to check out as well. But, for now, um, I gotta get back to doing a whole bunch of editing on my laptop here. Like I said, you guys have learned a whole bunch more about why I'm in LA, why you probably can't hear me right now, and why there's so much background noise, and where the hell I'm going out of the country to do some filming for you guys in the next video. So be checking back uh, in one or two days for that. It won't be longer than two days, but I appreciate you guys watching this one, so I will catch you guys very, very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry, I can't stop with a love like mine, I can't stop with a love like mine.